the cracked up front end of what's believed to be Tiger Woods Cadillac SUV. Accident photos provided anonymously to CNN affiliate WFTV. The shots taken after police say the golfing phenom crashed into a fire hydrant at the end of his driveway and slammed into a neighbor's tree. He was on the ground semi-unconscious and uh, had lacerations to his upper and lower lip. Florida Highway Patrol investigators in two separate cars entered the gated upscale community on Saturday to hear firsthand from Woods about what caused him to apparently lose control of his car at 2.30 in the morning Thanksgiving night. But on their way there, Woods' agent called and said, come back tomorrow. Police say it wasn't the first time they were turned away. Just after the accident, the mother of two was described as frantic, standing over her husband when police arrived. They said she bashed out a rear window with a golf club. From what I understand, she explained to my officers that the doors were locked and she could not gain entry. Florida troopers released an initial report that said the accident was not alcohol-related. Woods has a squeaky clean image and is known for keeping his private life private. Even his boat is called privacy. Woods is not only golf's biggest draw and record-setting title holder, he's an endorsement powerhouse. Everything from Nike Golf, Gatorade, and video game titan EA Sports. His wife and two children are only occasionally seen at tournaments. When his son was born last February, Woods released this rare but heartwarming family portrait. Under Florida law, Tiger Woods does not have to talk with police about this accident. All he has to do is give them a valid driver's license, proof of insurance, and registration. On Sunday, investigators will find out whether he will give them the bare minimum or something more. Susan Candiotti, CNN, Windermere, Florida.